from Hollywood. It's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tick Tack Doe. And now, here's our host, Wade Martindale. Thank you very much. Hello again, everybody. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. Welcome to our show of X's and O's, where we give away a lot of cash for answers, and uh, you rack up the X and O's on our big board. The guy who's doing that extremely well and has been for quite some time is from Florida. Charlie, if you'll do the honors. Our current champion, whose winnings total $39,950 in cash and prizes, the winner of the Tic Tac Doe West Palm Beach contestant search. He's a store manager and his interests include postal chess. Meet Kit Salisbury. And his opponent, she's a student and her interests include whitewater rafting and playing the flute. Meet Lisa Morgan. Hi, Lisa. Lisa is 20 years young. <laughs> oh, I think Lisa. it's pretty old. I think that's a very nice age. And uh, as Charlie said, uh, you like white water rafting. Mm -hmm. You yeah. seem so fragile for such a rough sport. I'm pretty tough, and it's Are not that tough? hard. Yeah, I can make it. Now, who do you have in the audience? Yeah, I understand your mom and dad were here mm -hmm. for the last show. Did they come back? They came back. Wonder They're if they here. had a good night's sleep. Maybe they aren't uh, as uh, nervous as perhaps you are. Oh. Where are they? There they are, right out yeah. there. Give they us your names. Fresh. That's Kay and Mike. I, I was hoping you wouldn't say Mr. and Mrs. Morgan. <laughs> Welcome, Lisa. Nice right. to have you here. A white water rafter. Kit Salisbury is a guy that uh, most of you who uh, watch with any degree of regularity, and I hope that's a lot of them, he knows that uh, he's our current champion. Kit has won $39,950. Congratulations, Sir Thank Kit. You. Our contestant search winner from West Palm Beach, Florida. Is it true what they say? Is it true what they say about Florida? Is the weather nice all the time? Beautiful. Is it really? Beautiful. Are you a walking advertisement for the Chamber of Commerce in West Palm Beach? Well, <clears throat> it's a great place to live, but I have to say that California is great. Kind of nice too, huh? Mm -hmm. Isn't that Two nice best places to hear this in the Floridian say? Is your wife here? She sure is. She Susan's is right for... there. Hi, Susan. Susan has sort of gotten to be part of the uh, family here. We feel she's been right there in that uh, in that seat. Cost her $12 a show to sit right there so she can be in. No, it does. Susan, welcome back. Good luck to you both. Let's play. Here we go. Kit Salisbury and Lisa Morgan. We have uh, Susan sitting there, very honestly, because she is so doggone pretty. Last show time ran out in the middle of the game, and these were and are the categories. Let's take a look at them. We're going to build our questions around famous blondes, the bonus category, of course, comic strips, classical music, pop music, player pass, maps of states, auction, and second jobs. The board looked like this when our show ran out uh, last time. We gave out a time. The pot is worth $400. Let's shuffle the categories around. We uh, <laughs> stop right in the middle of a round. So, Lisa, it is your turn as gonna... opposed to Kit, the champion. What would you like? I'd like pop music to block, please. Popular music, top right corner, to block, all right? Popular music question. This eccentric singer and songwriter named Randy has recorded such unusual and controversial songs as short people and I love L.A. for a blot, name him. Newman. Yes, Randy Newman. Very good. Randy Newman. Good for a blot. Let's shuffle. All right, Kit. The bonus category in the left center. Didn't you just know he was going to go for that, Lisa? The bonus category. He loves that category. This is a three-part question. Answer all three parts correctly, Kit, and you immediately get another turn. The subject of this bonus question is television. In its 16 seasons on the air, the news show 60 Minutes has featured nine personalities. I want you to name three of them. Kit, go. Morley Safer. That's right. Mike Wallace. That's right. And Harry Reisner. That's correct. <laughs> By the way, the others would be Dan Rather, James J. Kilpatrick, Ed Bradley, Shana Alexander, Andrew Rooney, or Andy Rooney, and Nicholas Von Hoffman. Those are the others who have been a part of that show. Okay, you have that one. Let's shuffle the categories. Kit, you get another turn because you got that three-parter. Okay, classical music to win. All right, Kit, if you answer this question correctly, you will have won your 10th game of tic-tac-toe. It'll be worth in cash $1,000. You will win your second brand new car, and that would take your grand total to $53,000 $450, all for the answer to this question on classical music. This Austrian family of composers included a father and his three sons. One son, named Johann Jr., 
became known as the Waltz King because of such elegant pieces as by the beautiful Blue Danube. For tic-tac-toe, a second car and a total of $53,450, give me the family name. Strauss. You got it. By the way, not that it really matters, Kit. Uh, there was Johan Sr., Johan Jr., Joseph, and Edward. Edward Strauss, the Strauss family. So, Kit, do you have a two-car garage, by the way? No. <laughs> what are you going to do? No. Well, you can put, you can park it on the street. What? Well, that's a very pleasant problem. To because have. you have your old uh, '64, whatever it is. Right. Uh, you have the two new cars, and it's a problem. But Susan, am I right or wrong? Is it a problem you want to have to deal with? Yeah. It is a problem you will deal with. Get again, your total as we go to play versus the Dragon, $53,450. <laughs> kind of nice total. Lisa, not so nice for you. He took a couple of those bonus uh, categories and just racked up those yep. X's on the board. Four X's to one O. And uh, we were just getting to know you, Lisa. I want to thank you for being with us. Thank so we have you. a couple of nice party gifts. Thank you. Stay as pretty as you are, by the way. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. Kit's a good example of what I'm about to say, because he hasn't done it once. He's done it twice, and that's really tacky, Kit. <laughs> if you defeat, anybody on the show who defeats five opponents wins a very, very special prize. Charlie, tell us about it. It's a brand new car. <laughs> the Eagle Wagon comes equipped with luxury features like air conditioning, AMF, and stereo, tinted glass and roof rack, plus the confidence of Select Drive, the all-service four-wheel drive system furnished by American Motors. And now, back to you, Wink. Kid, it seems like every time we turn around, you're coming over here to do this number here, and you haven't been very successful against the Dragon. How many times have you beat him? Do you know? I think it's three. He's beat you more times than you beat him, Definitely. that's for sure. Let's try to help rectify the record. Come on over here. Come on, Kit, now get on the ball. You play too good over there not to win over here. Behind the numbers, different denominations of cash, a tick, a tack, and of course the mean monster. The idea is to get to a thousand, hush. The idea is to get to a thousand dollars or more or get tick and tack. Charlie, you have something nice for him? You bet we do, Wink. Kid, after that victory, you may want to do a little daydreaming about how to spend your winnings. And these three prizes will help. First, Kid, get yourself in a dreamy mood with your favorite music played on this excellent stereo. Hitachi's cassette matched music system, FNAM stereo receiver with 7.5 watts per channel, belt drive turntable with magnetic cartridge, two way high drone cone speaker system from Hitachi. Then relax and daydream in this comfortable recliner. East wind, deeply cushioned back and seat, graceful curves and shaped rattan add the sophisticated beauty in this action recliner from Lane. And finally, Kit, you may really let your fantasies run wild as you soak up the sun on a dream vacation in heavenly Hawaii. <laughs> Land of sugarcane, coconuts, exotic flowers, and breathtaking sunsets. You'll enjoy tropical sun, golden beaches, and fabulous entertainment when you answer this call to the islands. We'll fly you via Western Airlines wide body jet from Los Angeles to Honolulu. You can count on Western for warm hospitality and friendly service in flight. Furnished by Western Airlines. While there, you'll stay at the Kona Surf on the Big Island of Hawaii. Set in beautiful tropical gardens, luxury accommodations, all the warmth and spirit of Polynesia from the Kona Surf on Hawaii's Kona Coast. This daydream package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,550. I like the music. I like everything about Hawaii, and I love Maui or any other spot over there. All the islands are great. Have you ever been to Hawaii? Never. But I'd love Susan, to. you want the trip to Hawaii? Going to start with number seven? Good luck. I want you to win it. We all want you to win a trip to Hawaii. $500? You're only $500 away. Okay. Number three. She said number three, and he said, do you really think so? Was she right? It's a good number. We need $250. Number five. You know, you don't have to listen to her if you don't want to. Number five, for a trip to Hawaii, worth $250. Do we have it? Nope, not quite. We're $100 away. We need $100, but there's one number up there you want to stay away from. I don't know what it is. I hope it's not two. He hopes it's not two. If it's $100, you got a trip. Oh. Boy, I'll tell you, that is uncanny, the way you do not have luck over here because you play the game so well over there. Let's look behind the rest of them. You needed $100, one, four, six, 
There was number one for $100, six for $300, 500, 400. Don't you get down and out now? No, no. I mean, after all, it was just a trip to gorgeous Hawaii. Sorry, Susan. Sorry about that. That's all right. Well, let's wrap it all up now. Let's talk about what you have won. Nobody can take this away. It's not exactly a shabby number. Two cars and a total of $53,450 cash and prizes, two automobiles. And the young man from West Palm Beach is representing his area very well. Aren't you proud of the way things are going? Well, I guess so. I feel very lucky, but... Forget the I'll dragon. Listen, luck is part of it, but it takes a lot up here, too. Go over there, Kit, and let's meet a new player. I think we have a gentleman this time waiting in the wings. Charlie, would you please? Okay, Wink. He's a former marriage counselor who is now a law student. His interests include writing and the outdoors. Meet Steve Sasoyev. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Hello, Wink. How Boy, you? I tell you, I like to see somebody come out here with a lot of gusto, oh, and you I... sure you almost fell there on that <laughs> chair coming <laughs> Not quite. out here. Tell me about your studies, Steve. Well, I'm a third-year law student at UCLA. I'm looking forward to practicing family law after I get out of law school next year. Tell us about your uh, interest. Charlie says you're interested in the outdoors. Yeah, in my spare time I write, and uh, I live out in the woods in Northern California. Where do you stay in Northern California? Uh, I'm about halfway between Sacramento and Tahoe. I'm building a cabin on my land there right now. You're building a cabin. Do you yeah. live in the cabin now? Not yet. Right now, I live in the teepee. I'm sorry. Right now, I live in a teepee. You live in a teepee? Yes, sir. Isn't that... That can be rather chilly, can it? In the wintertime, it gets a little cold, but uh, it's waterproof, and I've got a little stove in there, and it's pretty cozy. You know, I once knew a... It's a true story. I knew a bald-headed guy who used to live in a teepee, but he had to give it up. You might want to ask me why. Why? Unless you ask me louder than that, I'm not going to tell you. He couldn't keep his wig warm. <laughs> Guy in the back row saying, what is a wig warm? It's a wig warm. Get it's a, ah. Get Steve, you ready? Forgive me, Steve, will you? I'm Let's look at the board. Steve. Our subjects we're dealing with are places and songs, challenge category, astronomy, funny men, spelling, double or nothing, faces, seesaw, and women in film. Kit, please. I'll try double or nothing, please. Double or nothing, all right, as he goes out on a limb with a double or nothing question. You get a chance to earn two boxes on this turn, Kit. But first, you'll have to answer this question. The subject of this double or nothing question is famous Americans. While serving as the vice president of the United States under Thomas Jefferson, this man shot and killed Alexander Hamilton. Although he was found guilty of murder, he returned to Washington and finished out his term in office. Name him. Burr. Yes, Aaron Burr is right. <laughs> so you answered that one correctly. But to earn the box, you must select another box, answer that question correctly, and you get both boxes. Miss it, and you'll get neither one. Which one would you like? I'll try astronomy in the upper right. Astronomy, all right. Kid, answer this, and you got two boxes. Aside from the Earth, this tiny frozen planet is the only planet with only one known moon. It was first spotted in 1930 and was named after the Greek and Roman god of the underworld. Name it. Pluto. You got two boxes. Two boxes on one turn. So that takes care of those two. Two X's. He jumps out in front, Steve. He does that a lot. You got to watch him. He'll sneak up on you and whoop you. We shuffle 400. Whoops, an old Tennessee uh, word. You probably don't know that in California, Steve. All right. Seesaw to block. Seesaw category. Again, a fun category. I'll read a question with a number of answers to it. You both are going to seesaw back and forth, offering answers until one of you answers incorrectly, repeats an answer, or takes too much time. Then the other player gets the box. Now, here is the question. In the UN General Assembly, there are nine nations which have names which begin with the letter I. I want you to name them. Steve, you understand the question? Kit, you selected the seesaw category. Steve, so we'll start with you. India. India is one. Kit. Indonesia. Indonesia is another. Steve. Iran. Iran is one. Iraq. Iraq is another. Steve. Um. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Time's up. Kit, you win tic-tac-toe and $54,050. Congratulations to you, Kit. The others were, by the way, Iceland, Ireland, Israel, Italy, and the Ivory Coast. 
So, congratulations, Kit. A vertical tic tac Mary Kay Cosmetics. Also, Echo Flint Knife Set with stainless vanadium steel blades. Has solid wood storage block, walnut finished handles. Plus, buy brim decaffeinated coffee for flavor that's full, deep, and satisfying. Fill your cup to the rim with the rich, roasted taste of brim. Also, maximum strength cortisone 5 for itching and rashes. It gets under the itch for soothing relief and help in healing. Itchy rashes disappear with cortisone 5. Use as directed. Okay, Wink. Okay, Charlie, thank you, Kit. We're ready to uh, do it again. We're going to do it until we get it right. Come on over. We got to stop meeting like this. You know that. I mean, we're doing this too often. In a moment, the dragon's going to be jumping over the board. But first, we need prizes. You missed the trip to Hawaii. I don't know what's coming up now. Charlie, what do you got for us? Well, Kit, these gifts will impart a classy glow when you decorate your den in oak. First, Kit, comfort with grace will be yours with the addition of these lovely oak rockers. The Brumby, since 1875, is one of America's finest handcrafted rockers. Combines quality, graceful charm, and superb comfort. Handmade exclusively at the rocker shop of Marietta, Georgia. Then a touch of class on your wall will be this handsome oak clock. Hamilton's Balford, eight-day wall clock reminiscent of the 18th century. Westminster chimes, brass weight, solid oak cabinet from Hamilton. Next, your floor will glow with the sheen of this oak parquet flooring. Parco Solid Oak Parquet Flooring, a beautiful oak floor designed to install yourself with a cushioned foam backing for your added comfort from Hartco Parquet. And finally, Kit, the centerpiece of your den will be this prize worth more than $1,800, this oaken roll-top desk. This oak modular shelving system from Merlat uses kitchen cabinets with a roll-top desk for a functional work-study area. Merlat Industries, America's cabinet maker. This Decorate Your Den and Oak package is worth in cash and prizes over... $4,300. $4,300 package. Let's cover him up, move him around, get rid of the dragon, and hope that we don't find him again. That's the idea. Get to $1,000 or more, get tick and tack. Susan? Is Susan still awake? Oh, yeah. We're not keeping her awake, are we? No. Susan, number two? All righty. Let's see if two is going to be a good number for which uh, you should begin. $100. Number three. Let's look at number three. 100 plus what? 500, 600, you need 400 more. 4,000 plus package. You wait for what? Well, okay. I'll go ahead. Number one. Number one. I don't know. I think he had a different number in mind. Tick. You need tack or $400. Susan? It says number four. Number four. Is that the one you want to stay away from? Let's look at number four. Is that a winner? Not quite. Uh, we need about what, 100 more dollars. Okay, number nine. Number nine for hundred dollars a tack, and you got the furniture. What is it? Big nine, one hundred. Sometimes I think we ought to ask Susan to stand up and take a bow, not because she won, but just because she's probably tired of sitting there calling out the wrong number. Susan, I'm just kidding. Let's take a look at the rest of the board. You needed one hundred dollars, four hundred in the center, one fifty behind six, two fifty. There was tack behind numero nine, but your number still looks pretty good. You have two cars and fifty-four thousand. $50 in cash and prizes. And for that, I'll shake your hand. Join us West Palm Beach. Scoot over there again, uh, Kit. And because that last game went back so fast, why, perhaps we'll have time to play another one. Charlie, will you help us out with the player? Okay, Wink, she's a tax therapist whose interests include hiking and racquetball. Meet Terry Davis. Hello, Terry. Hi. What Charlie tells us, uh, you do really rings a bell in a strange sort of way. A tax therapist. Yeah. What is that? Well, I help people. Um, I give them tax information, first of all, and help them handle their fears. And I also give seminars. Now, in all of the people that you've worked for, what do people fear most about taxes? <laughs> An audit, of course. They also um, they have trouble wondering whether some of the deductions that they've taken have really been um, right or not. All right. What do you recommend to your clients? Well, first, get their worries off their chest, and then um, to be clear um, and consistent and accurate, and most of all, to keep their records in order. When she said that, it just struck a blow with me. Wouldn't it be funny? Can you imagine? I think this would be funny. He probably wouldn't. But you're called in for an audit, and when they tell you to bring your records, you do just that. You take your Barbara Streisand records, your Frank Sinatra records, your Beatles records. That's Obviously, we have a bunch of people here who've never been called in for an audit. They don't know. We'll be back in just a moment.
because I thought that was really good. Max, uh, help me out here. Uh, get him to line one. Wouldn't it be funny if you were called in for an audit and told to bring your records and you took your Barbara Streisand records, your Frank Sinatra oh, records? Oh, oh, oh. See? Now, I knew something was there. I knew it would work. It just went over their heads the first time. What are you going to do? Congratulate. Yeah. I'm congratulating you for future winnings, maybe. Hey, congratulations Thank to you. you. Champion, $54,050 in cash and prizes. Bye, Susan. See you next time. Hope to see you, too. Goodbye, everybody. Some of our defunding contestants will receive buy bright and early breakfast beverage and get more than great orange taste. Get more change. Bright and early. Costs about one-third less than orange juice. Only Arid has this baby fresh scent. Tough on wetness and odor. But mmm, baby fresh on you. Arid baby fresh spray, roll on solid and baby fresh cream. Refinish old furniture the Gillespie way without stripping, sanding, or overspending. Gillespie products work like the expensive brand, cost a lot less. Order the 1985 Mighty Dog Calendar, featuring 12 champions like Adam, winner of the Westminster Kennel Club show. See specially marked cans of Mighty Dog for details. Tic-Tac-Toe is a Jack Barry and Tannenreit production.